Hypercar Mountain. Hi, this is Larry Hatch, and welcome to the third episode of Hypercar Mountain. Uh, today I'm calling this episode Odds and Ends. Just a few curious things from my collection. Not all necessarily hypercars, but uh, certainly some supercars in there. Uh, the first group I want to look at today are some of the older generation uh, Honda NSX, or as we call them in America, Acura NSX. I'm um, thinking about collecting the new model, the uh, current one that's been out a few years, but uh, I've collected a number of the uh, previous generation, and I want to talk about a couple of these. Uh, one of the really nicely done ones is by Jada, and it's called the Wide Body Type R JDM Tuner Series. And it doesn't really look like 164 scale to me. It's a little bit larger. Um, and I've actually seen the real car. It does look like a Japanese Ferrari, as it was intended to be. Although they're not nearly as rare or powerful, for the most part. Um, but it's a beautifully made car. And you can see it here in yellow, with a black roof. Uh, there are some different color variants of it. Uh, there's a white version a red version and a chrome version. Uh, the decals or uh, tampos on the door vary somewhat. Um, so maybe I think there's about maybe seven or eight different combinations in the yellow, chrome, white, and red. Um, and they're worth collecting. Um, they're beautiful cars. They're really well made. They're sturdy. Uh, unfortunately they only go for about three to eight dollars each and um, so my yellow one that I bought years ago is appreciated zero. But anyway, it's a great car for the collection, and I just wanted to point it out. Uh, the second one here is maybe a little more interesting. It's by uh, Tomica, or Tommy. It's, it, was a, it is a police car version of the NSX. And when I saw that, boy, I bought this almost maybe 10 years ago. I said, please car on a sec. I gotta got have that. That's gonna be worth something someday. Or at least it makes an interesting statement in the, in a collection. And all of the uh, decals, and they are glued on, um, are have uh, Japanese words on them. And it's a really interesting little car, uh, kind of beautiful. And uh, but I found out there's a lot of different variants of it. Uh, in the white with the red uh, sign bars, uh, there are a couple of different versions. Uh, there's some with no decals at all, and it's just pure white and clean. Of those with the decals, uh, there's the one version like I have that has decals on the hood and three letters on the door. And there's another one with no decal on the hood and five letters on the door. That's a little bit different. Um, there's also a very um, rare black version, which I saw on eBay for $351. Uh, there's also a blue and white version uh, that I've heard about, but I don't have a price on that. Uh, there's also another valuable rare one. It was a Honda safety vehicle. I don't know, like a security vehicle or maybe like a pace car. I'm not really sure. Uh, that has yellow light bars. And that has been listed for $250. So, wow, go for that, right? Uh, the next car I want to look at is a Hot Wheels uh, 4 GT, the modern version, the newest version. And this is a somewhat less common. It's not really rare. People say rare, but it's, it's less, just less common version in red with a white stripe on it and if you look at it you'll say that doesn't really look exactly like a Hot Wheels well it's no it's not it's the same Hot Wheels car the red and white but it was customized by one of the uh, customizers on the internet and his name is Chef Biz uh, C-H-E-F-B-I-Z does a great job uh, in um, detailing the cars um, but most especially putting on really nice wheels, real rider rubber wheels that match, really high quality wheels, really high quality work. Uh, and I just want to put in a 
put in a word for him. Uh, most of his cars are in the range of like 15 to $30. And for what you're getting, it's amazing. Um, and he's got over 900 different ones, trucks, cars, everything. So if you have a like a Matchbox or a Johnny Lightning or a, especially a Hot Wheels that you like, but it's, you know, it's kind of corny, got like corny looking wheels. This is a guy, Chef Biz, who will make that car look much more presentable in a collection. And I don't know if all of you know about custom Hot Wheels and other cars. Uh, again, it's mostly done with Hot Wheels. Because some of the premium diecast brands already have pretty darn good painting and wheels. Uh, what a lot of these people, these customizers do is they'll put on these wheel sets. You can buy these wheel sets. In fact, you can do it yourself. I've tried. I'm really not that handy with players and stuff. Um, and you get an axle and you get a, uh, two axles and four wheels. And there's many different styles. You can match up colors like they did nicely with the GT here. Uh, some of the customizers paint the car completely. Uh, some just maybe add some color for the taillights and headlights, put some trim on it, some put decals on it. There's decal sets you can buy, um, and they're not very expensive either. And uh, different combinations. So these customized cars range anywhere from, oh, I would say maybe $8 to more than $300. I've seen some tarted up Porsches that got it. Everything changed on them. Paint, decals, wheels, uh, even the body moldings. It's almost like a real car. Uh, I, I've i even seen a couple where they actually put real carbon fiber on it or, or something that looks like that. Um, and there's a, there's a couple people that really specialize in Hot Wheels color variations that they created. You know, basically what they do is they take the, the rivets in the, in the bottom in most cases, uh, take the frame off, paint it, then put it back. Uh, some people just mask them out. I'm not sure how this guy does it. Uh, I'm going to put links to these various people in the uh, in the comments. Uh, this is a uh, group called B I S H T F L. If I've got that right, and um, they they make endless number of color variations of supercars and hypercars as well as common cars example here is uh, the Ford GT and look at look at the color choices you have and look at the price seven ninety nine plus shipping wow um, some real interesting stuff there gotta move on I don't want to be too long winded here today uh, the next group of cars are some Lamborghini Miras and uh, I've always liked that car uh, ever since uh, as a boy I, I got a cereal box that says send in box tops and you get a Lamborghini Mira uh, it was 143 scale and for the life of me I can't find what company made it but it was a beautiful car in blue and, I, and I've loved the car since then and uh, I've now collected it in 164 uh, here in the picture uh, the rarest one is a uh, the one in chrome is a Tommy, Tomica, and uh, doors open, and it's a really beautifully well-made car. Uh, the chrome, ver there's, there's many color versions of it, but the chrome version has actually gone up to 30 to $60. I Again, I think I paid 20 years ago, so that's a car that really looks nice. It's hard to photograph because it plays tricks with your camera's light sensors, but... Um, it's a great car. The blue one here, i got to get this right, it's a Matchbox um, issued around 2017, although I think I've had it longer, and it's called the Blue Spectrali Metalizotto, and uh, it's from the best of the Lamborghini series, and it's got really high quality gold wheels and trim lots of detail on it it's kind of like a super fast you know it comes with a, a box so it's kind of like super fast quality and it's a really good looking one uh, the gold uh, one in the center is an old 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 matchbox uh, that gold one is actually more common uh, 
from the auction sites than I thought it would be. And um, they are, let's see here, um, from the 50th anniversary series, I think it is. I may, I may have that wrong. But anyway, it's a, it's a gold version. And um, prices haven't really, really kept up that well. Um, so, anyhow, uh, those are some uh, nice Lambos here. And I'm going to be talking a lot more about Lamborghinis in my collection and, uh, later on. Thank you. Hypercar Mountain.